Everything you need to know to start a YouTube channel in 2021, a complete beginner's guide, part one of two. Okay. So you want to start a YouTube channel and you're asking yourself, is it too late? The answer is no, not at all. As a matter of fact, there's never been a better time to start a YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know so you can get up and running fast and take advantage of what's going on on YouTube now. Now, I gotta tell you, I gotta, I gotta come clean. I started my YouTube channel in 2015 and I didn't do the things I was supposed to do. I didn't do any of the things I was supposed to do and it really hurt me and I got no traction for that reason. So I don't want that to happen to you. I want to share with you the things I did change that started getting me traction, got me monetized and got me making money on YouTube. Now here's the truth. I've spent years learning this stuff, but the cool thing is on this video, I can share all these things with you and you don't have to go through all the trials and tribulations that I did and you can get going fast. Now, like I said, in the beginning, you know, some of you may think it's too late. It's not too late. As a matter of fact, yeah, there's more channels on YouTube than there's ever been. However, there's more viewers on YouTube than there's ever been too. Now I want to be upfront with you. Okay. Cause some people are not upfront with you. It takes time. It takes a lot of time to do videos on YouTube. An average video that should be about 10 minutes, uh, can take you about 10 hours. And the reason for that is you've got to script it. You've got to plan out what you're going to say. You don't want to just turn on your camera and talk. Okay. It's not going to be good. You have to plan out that video a little bit. Now, what I do is I'll put like some bullet points on my computer here of the things I want to talk about. I don't script it word for word. I don't use a teleprompter or anything like that, but you certainly can, if you feel uncomfortable trying to talk, you know, extemporaneously. Now let's get right to the part that you're probably interested in. Can you make money? Um, you can make money instantly. Okay. You can make money instantly, but it won't be from YouTube ads. YouTube ads are going to take some time. As a matter of fact, to even get monetized for them to pay you, you're going to have to have 1000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Now here's the cool thing. All these big YouTubers that you see that are making all these millions of dollars, they all started exactly where you are at zero subscribers and no views. You can do this but there's other ways to make money on YouTube too. Now you're going to want to experiment a little bit. You don't know really what your groove is until you get started, but I will tell you this, you got to get started. A lot of people say, well, I don't want to do a video because I know it's going to be bad. Well, if you know it's going to be bad, you might as well go ahead and make that video and get it over with. If you go back to my first video on this channel, yeah, it's pretty bad. I, I don't even want to show that video, but here's the point. As you do videos, you'll get better and better. You keep studying and keep learning different things that you can do in your videos to improve the quality. But here's, here's the cool thing. Your videos don't have to be perfect. They just have to be good enough. And keep in mind, you can always reshoot. If you're in the middle of shooting a video and it's not good, just do it over again. Or let's say you do a video and you publish it and you didn't think it was a very good video. You can always do another one in six months or a year on the same subject. Now let's talk about some of the equipment you need. You got to have a camera. Okay. Undoubtedly you have to have a camera, but most people have a good enough video camera on their smartphones nowadays to use it. I would also recommend getting a tripod of some sort. Uh, having a tripod is going to hold that camera steady and you're going to get a much better quality video. But keep in mind, a tripod can be stacked up books with your camera setting on it. It doesn't have to be a professional tripod. It could be some cardboard boxes, whatever you need to use to get yourself going, do that. Now you're also going to need some video editing software, but most smartphones nowadays come with video editing software. You could just use the software on that phone. Hey, before we go any further, I forgot to tell you, you need to subscribe. Don't forget to click that button below down there. If it's red, turn it gray, click it, make it turn gray. And when you do that, a bell will pop up next to it and you need to ring that bell turn on all bell notifications so that you are notified every single time I do a new video or I go live. Now that we got that out of the way, let's keep going. Next thing is an external microphone. Now this is a funny situation. Most smartphones have pretty good audio, but it's usually arm length away. Okay. If you get any further than an arm length away, it's going to get a lot of ambient sounds around you. So you're going to need an external microphone. Now the good news is you can get some pretty cheap external microphones and I'll put a link in the description below, but you can get one of these lavalier microphones with a wire that goes to your phone and you get much better sound. Sound is super, super important because if you don't have good Good sound people aren't going to watch the video you can have a mediocre quality video but with bad sound nobody's going to watch next up is lights now in filming this video right here i've got one two three four five lights and a ring light so i've got six lights on here 
that doesn't mean you have to have them i didn't have them in the beginning and they're not necessary so if you don't have light that's not a problem you can face one of your windows with a light coming on you and that's enough light make sure you're never backlit okay you don't want a light behind you if you put the light behind you it'll make your face darker and the last thing is enthusiasm and work ethic okay a lot of people are enthusiastic but they lack the work ethic it takes a lot of work today i'm filming videos i'm filming 13 videos in one day it's going to take me about 12 hours to do that but i've also spent another two or three days scripting out these videos before i even got started and then once i do that i've got to do a rough edit of these videos and chop out the parts i don't want then i give them to my video editor and then he edits them to make them usable now if you think oh my gosh i don't have a video editor jr i didn't either for years okay that's just something that i was able to acquire after i built up some money from this channel now as far as the camera goes yeah you can use your phone but as you grow your channel i would recommend you going with a dslr camera uh, we use the eos canon which i'll put a link in the description below there in addition to that the editing software that you need uh, is on your phone but i would recommend you moving up later on to something like camtasia final cut pro there's a lot of good softwares out there i use those two primarily camtasia i like that one the best now there's a couple free editing softwares you can use movie maker okay Okay. or if you're an Apple user you can use iMovie both of those editing softwares are completely free I mentioned Camtasia that sells for about $249 you can also get Final Cut Pro for $299 you do not need those in the beginning do not use this as an excuse to not get started of course the first thing you're gonna to want to do is pick a niche my niche on this channel is how to make money online um, your niche and what you select will really determine how much money you're gonna make now I will put a screenshot up of my actual CPM CPM is how much that video will generate um, per thousand views and then the RPM is the amount of, of revenue that I actually get now I just watched a video this morning on a young lady who has millions of followers uh, and her CPM is a dollar 63 uh, why is mine thirty three dollars and thirty cents well the difference is that hers is a lifestyle blogging channel so she's all over the place you know she's vacationing one day she's cooking the next day it is not really niche down my channel you know when you come to my channel it's gonna be all about learning how to make money online that pays a whole lot higher CPM so you got to take that into consideration when you're doing your channel next thing you do is pick a channel name that's up to you what you want to do mine is jr fisher training when people search jr fisher on youtube they'll usually stumble on my channel uh, they have to know me though uh, you may want to have a channel that has a you know a name that has something to do with it, like barbecue right or you know uh, diy tips for moms or whatever it depends on what you want to do i wouldn't worry about it a whole lot in the beginning because you can change that later on now you got to decide if it's going to be a personal channel or a business channel a personal channel is linked to one of your personal gmail accounts so is a business channel really the only big difference is that uh, on a business brand type channel like what I have here I can add managers to it so I can have my video editor also be able to log in and upload videos and make changes and that type of thing and that's kind of handy so I would suggest you doing that you want to make sure that you get your channel verified you can go in your settings and find out how to verify your channel um, if you don't you'll only be able to make your videos private and no longer than 15 minutes so you want to make sure that you do get your channel verified you want to set up the basics too you want to have a, a photo for your channel obviously you want to have a description you want to have the right meta tags in there if you want people to find your channel okay they search with these keywords those keywords have to be on your channel a lot of people will just put the keywords on the videos but then of course nobody can ever find the channel they can only find the videos within the channel when you go into your settings also put some type of business email in there where people can contact you that's super important because if you want to get notifications of people saying hey I, I want to do a brand deal with you or I'm interested in your products or I want to buy some of what you got you got to have that contact information in there now I suggest you use a different email than what you normally use uh, that way you can tell where those inquiries are coming from don't forget also you're gonna have channel defaults and what a channel default is is every time you upload a video certain tags are gonna be there um, certain things are gonna be in the description maybe your affiliate link something along those lines now let's talk about actually how to make a YouTube video the first thing you're gonna start off with is an idea okay you're gonna get some type of idea you want to research that idea and make sure it's worthwhile make sure there's enough people actually searching for that subject 
and that comes right into the next thing which is research you want to do some research make sure the content of that video is useful and it helps people out or it entertains them or whatever it is you're trying to get across with that video then of course you're gonna to want to write your script or your outline you know it can be a word-for-word -word script if you want to use something like a teleprompter there's a lot of cool apps that you can use for that or if you want to just use you know something like I do where I have bullet points here and I just kind of read off from the bullet points you can certainly do that too next step record your video okay you're gonna record your video now don't think that you can shoot a video without editing it's not gonna happen you're gonna make mistakes when you say things you're gonna make errors parts of it you're gonna to want to take out some of it is superfluous and you go gee I don't need to have that in there so make sure you make a video longer than what you need if you're shooting for a 10 minute video I normally shoot for a 20 minute uh, actual film time because I know half of that's gonna go by the wayside then of course you're ready all you got to do is upload your video make sure you have a good title make sure you have a good description and meta tags and you're ready to go oh I almost forgot you gotta have a thumbnail don't let YouTube select the thumbnail for you it's not gonna be good okay you gotta have a good thumbnail something that's gonna make people want to click now I would recommend if you're starting your channel you're not gonna want to hear this but you're gonna need to do about two or three videos a week I do five a week plus one live so I'm doing six a week but I want to get more momentum on my channel that's the reason I'm doing that uh, if you're only uploading once a week you're gonna have very slow progression as far as building your channel as something goes viral and believe me odds of that happening are not very good don't forget to promote your video you know post it social media post it your Facebook Twitter all these different places so that people know you did it and of course you want to analyze and adjust okay you want to look at what's working what's not working which videos got more views than the others and make adjustments now if you have videos that are getting a lot of views you may want to make more videos that are around that same subject okay so that gets you a starter on how to start your YouTube channel but I've got a part two to this that you've got to go see and the link is going to be in the description below same title is going to say part two of two though I really appreciate you watching this video thank you so much for being here don't forget to subscribe below give me a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so that you're notified every single time I do new video if you want to grab one of my free courses look below and there's a $97 course you can get absolutely free no subscription no credit card no nothing just click and learn thank you so much for watching this video and I want to see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel